In this video, we will take a look at a factoring shortcut that is called a difference of squares. The idea behind the difference of squares shortcut is we have already seen multiplying a sum and a difference before, a plus b times a minus b, and we found we had a shortcut of multiplying just the first terms to get a squared, and the last terms to get negative b squared. We can use this shortcut in reverse as we are factoring. If we see that we are subtracting, the subtraction is important, if we see we are subtracting two things that we are, that we can take the square root of, two things that are squared, we can factor it to the sum and the difference of the square roots. So for example, we would notice in the problem x squared minus 16, we can take the square roots of both terms. The square root of x squared is just x, and the square root of 16 is 4. Because we're subtracting, subtraction's important, because we're subtracting two things we can take the square root of, it's going to factor to the sum and difference of the square roots. It's going to be x plus 4 and x minus 4. And we're done. Again, consider 9a squared minus 25b squared. Again, we are subtracting, the subtracting's important, two things we can take the square root of. For example, the square root of 9a squared is 3a. The square root of the 25b squared is 5b. If this is the case, it's going to factor to the sum and difference of the square roots, 3a plus 5b, and 3a minus 5b for our final solution. If we can identify the sum and difference property as being the difference of two squares, we can factor these binomials quite efficiently. However, we must be very careful of a problem such as this. We'll notice that there's two things we can take the square root of. We can take the square root of x squared, which is x, and the square root of 36, which is 6. However, what you notice is wrong is we have an addition. The subtraction, as I keep saying, is very important. It must be subtraction of two squares, a difference of two squares. Let's take a look at this a bit closer and see how we might try and factor this but I want to factor it as if it were a trinomial. It's missing the x term, so I'm going to rewrite it as with plus 0x in the middle. This would be x squared plus 0x plus 36. I haven't changed the value because 0x means I'm just adding 0 to it. And if we were to factor this using the AC method, we would want to multiply to 36 and add to 0. However, if we look at the ways of multiplying to 36, 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, 6 times 6, all the combinations that could multiply to 36, none of them are going to add to 0. Be careful, but don't do 6 and negative 6 because that would re multiply to a negative 36. And we've already said that subtraction works. This one's a positive 36, though. We can't get a positive 36. This one is prime. It turns out that a sum of squares, a squared plus b squared, if it doesn't have a GCF, will always be prime. While a difference of squares, a squared minus b squared, will always factor to the sum and difference of the square roots. As I've said several times in this video, the negative is very important to allow us to factor.